one of these images is real and the other is an AI generated image. Can you guess which one is which? Not easy, right? In this case, the image on the left is real and the right one is AI generated. Let's try one more example. Which one do you think is the real and the AI generated one out of these two? Again, you can see not easy, but in this case also the image on the left is real and the one on the right is AI generated. Let's try a third example. What about these images? Well, I'm most likely to use these on the thumbnail, so you would have probably already seen this. But again, this time the image on the left is real and the one on the right is AI generated. And this is happening because we have just witnessed consistent character capabilities of a level that we have just never ever seen before. And this is thanks to the all new Hicksfield character which combines with one of the most realistic AI generators out there, which is Hicksfield Soul. So Hicksfield Soul was just released around two to three weeks back and Hicksfield Character, by which you can upload a reference image and then use Hicksfield Soul, was literally released two days back. So this is absolutely game-changing. But let's get back to the examples because there is something absolutely amazing that you can keep on doing because it is Hicksfield after all. For example, one of the best parts about using this particular tool is that you don't even need to write some crazy prompts. For example, this AI uh, generated image in which we are seeing her take a selfie. First of all, the consistency is great. It feels very real, but I didn't even have to type any sort of a crazy prompt for this because when I show you how things work, you simply select for in this case, uh, you simply select the style. For example, in this case, I selected the iPhone selfie style and it just produces that particular image. What about if you want someone just sitting on the street? Well, there's a style for that. So you again don't need any crazy prompt from, for that and just look at how close it is to the original face. You want this person to be sitting and eating a pizza in a restaurant? Very easy. Do you want them to be modeling on a ramp? Very, very easy. Again, with a single click. But remember, this is Hicksfield, so you can do so much more. For example, here I've generated her partying in a club, but because it's Hicksfield and Hicksfield is known for its crazy video effects, I can easily apply with a single click of video effect to something like this and then turn it into an amazing looking video like this one where she just turns into a DJ. And again, just look at the consistency here. Not just that. Let's take the example of product placement. Again, I've generated one more image using Hexfield soul and character where she's holding this perfume bottle. What if I want to replace my own bottle in her hand? Well, because Hicksfield also has canvas, which I had shown in a couple of uh, my videos. With a single click and a little brushing of the mask, you can get this image. But why stop there? This is Hicksfield. Hicksfield also has Hicksfield speak. So again, if we go back to the selfie image, which looked so real, I can make her talk also like this. Yep, that's right. Believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to do this. So let's see how to do this. Once you go over to Hicksfield AI, the link is given in the description, you will need a set of images on which we will have to train Hicksfield. So it's not just that you use one single reference image. So you can see a couple of pictures like this in front of you. I would have given you 15 of these pictures. The link to download the entire data set is in the description so that you can exactly do what I'm doing. Once you access these photographs, this is where you go. So we are going to go over here to character and then we will click on create character. You can see I have already created this particular character from which all these images were coming from, uh, Jane AI. I should point out before I hit create character, this unfortunately is only available on the paid plan, even on the basic plan, which is $9 a month, you can access this. But some of the other features that I'll be showing, they may not be even accessible on the most basic plan. Just know of that. You can any go anytime go over to pricing and see what all features that I will be showing in this video are available on which plan. But let's at least see this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to create our character. So we're going to hit create a character and you need to upload around 20 photographs of your 
character. That means the person that you want to generate the consistent characters of. This can be you. This can be anyone that you want to use it for. Now, they do say 20 photographs, but from my experiments, even 10 to 15 photographs are more than enough. So in the example data set, I have given you 15 photographs. So what we are going to do is we are going to go to upload images and upload all those photographs and I'll meet you on the next step. All right, so our uploading process here has started and it can actually allow you to upload up to 70 images and it kind of gives you a rating that as of now, what is the quality of the images that you've uploaded? So you can see here, uh, the count is good, but it's not the best. Of course, if you can give it 70 images from different angles, even from behind, uh, any sort of different composition, it's always going to be better because that is what the model is getting trained on. In this ones, uh, in these ones, it's basically her uh, in a square position. So we are shooting right from the front, but still the results as you saw were still amazing. So just imagine what the results will be even if you give like more amount of photographs from different angles. But right now, let's just keep things simple. So we're going to move forward with this. The quality of the images has to be good. So it's also going to go through your photographs and it'll tell you that, yes, the quality is excellent in our case. And you can just give it a name. For example, there I had given it AI Jane. So let's say AI Jane 2 or any name that you can give. And then you're going to hit a generate. It's going to cost you 30 credits. And that's it. You really don't need to do anything. I'm going to close this because I already have done this. So once you do hit generate, right here under character, okay, you will be able to see that it'll say in queue. And this does take around 30 to 40 minutes for it to completely train the model. And then that in queue sign will disappear and the generate sign will come into the uh, picture. So what you can do here is either you can directly hit generate here or you can also just go to create, go to image. And this is the... Just remove these prompts. Uh, this is the interface for Higgs Field Soul, which I had actually shown in, a, in one of my videos just uh, last week. And there I had mentioned this, that it is one of the best image generators that we had ever seen. It produces very real looking images like you can see in front of you. But it had one problem that it did not allow the usage of a reference picture. And now with character included in this, that problem has also been solved because you can see here, I can... You know, let's say it'll start off like this. I can just hit this and put my character that I've just created right here. You can see here, this is the character I have. So now it's going to come here. This is the part where you can type in your prompt. We're going to select the generator as soul, okay? Because this gives the best realistic images. Then you can select an aspect ratio from here. And do you want a basic quality? In that case, the generation will cost you one credit. Or if you want a high one, then it's going to cost you two credits. I've not really noticed too much of a difference between that. But one very important thing which makes it absolutely amazing is this thing here, which you can consider like a style or a filter, because then you don't need to write any crazy prompts. So remember that iPhone shot that you saw? Well, I just selected iPhone here. That's it. Okay. And then I can just type a simple prompt, woman taking her selfie and just see how real this is going to be now for the aspect ratio, because if you're taking your selfie, that's going to be from a phone. So it's going to be taller. So let's say I go for nine is to 16, uh, which is usually what phones give out. And then I can just hit generate. So I didn't even need to write anything crazy. My character is already trained and I just need to select style. And you're going to see they have such amazing different styles. If this type of style is not there, then of course you can just write in a prompt. I'm going to be showing you that also. But the main thing here is the consistency is absolutely amazing and the realism. We've just never seen realism like this before. So let's just wait for these results. All right, so our results are ready and just look at these results. This is absolutely mind blowing. I mean, sometimes I would even say that, I mean, it's so crazy that I'm actually thinking the AI generated image in some cases looking more real than the real image. Okay, trust me, I'm not even uh, exaggerating. This is how good uh, this is. Uh, let's try another style. So let's say we want one of those uh, styles where she was uh, sitting on the street, which I had shown you. So there are different categories here. For example, I can go to Instagram aesthetics and I think it was right here. So this was the sitting on the street style. All I need to do is just select this and just say, I don't think I actually even need to type in the prompt, uh, but I'm yet to 
validate that, but at least we can just write the same thing. So woman sitting on a street. And this time I'm just going to go for basics so that the generations are faster, that's all. All right, and just have a look at these images. So, so real, absolutely amazing. Now, what if you don't have a particular style that you are going for, which is not built into this? Well, in that case, what I like to do is I just, you can go over to ChatGPT, for example, this was a real image and I wanted to create exactly something like this. So for this, we don't have a style, obviously, since this is custom. So I just went over to ChatGPT, I uploaded this real image and I just typed in prompt to generate this image. And then ChatGPT is perhaps the best for generating prompts. Then I can type or I can paste this here. Of course, keep my character the same. But here, what I can now select for style is realistic. So this is the one that you use whenever you're doing any custom stuff. So we can select realistic. And this time, let's go for threes to four, which is similar to the original image. And let's hit generate. And let's see how close this gets to the original image. And you can see even with this, the results are absolutely fantastic. And what is mind blowing is that if you look at this original image here, she didn't have the long hair look here, right? I had actually not put this particular image of her uh, hair in like this uh, bun style. I had not uh, actually put that in the training data set. And still just from the prompt, I think like probably not these three images, but if you look at this image, I mean, it's still done a very, very convincing job, even though none of our pictures in the data set had that bun style right here. Okay, uh, so let me just show you uh, some of the images that I created. Uh, so this was, we're gonna actually use this particular image. Again, I used the realistic model, and I think the aspect ratio was 16 is to nine here. And I wanted to show you product placement, which I'm just gonna be showing you in a while from now. So we are basically gonna replace this bottle with our own bottle, because remember, Hicksfield also has Hicksfield canvas. I mean, how real is this? And the fact that we can put our own product is going to be amazing. There were some uh, party like images that I generated. You can see here, this looks really, really nice. And you can see here. So I'm going to show you how you can combine two of these images, use them as starting and ending frames and add some cool video effects like the ones that you had seen. This was another one where she was sitting on the street. And this was the first result I actually got with the chat GPT prompt, which even looked better. I mean, in this case, one, two, three, all the three images looked really nice. And again, this was not in the data set. This was, I had chosen one style call. You will be able to search for a style here, which was uh, modeling or something like uh, model walking on a ramp style. That's all you do. There was no prompting involved and it still gave an absolutely amazing looking images. There's a style in which uh, it's about people eating food in a restaurant. So this looks very convincing. And the good part about these images is that they don't have that fake AI blur background, which really gives off that AI look. Just the fact that the depth of field is uh, deep, you know, everything is in focus, makes it look really, really real. And of course the consistency, I mean, we've just never seen anything like it. Uh, these were some of the selfie uh, styles. Uh, this was the CCTV style. This was the only one I think that didn't come out well. It still had that AI look, but I'm kind of guessing that's also because we are going for a CCTV look, okay? So this was, perhaps you can work and make this better with the prompt. I was very happy with this. Here I'd chosen the realistic style and just written woman sitting in a YouTube studio. And I think this was really fine. I really loved this result a lot. And yeah. So you can see here, right? I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Now let's just see some of the things that we can do now. Hicksfield obviously is known for its video effects, right? So what if I go to create, I go to video, and then what I did was I, you can, you know, put a effect here or a camera movement here. So they have like a lot of these, which I have shown in this video where I introduced uh, the video generation model. If you haven't seen this, I'll leave the link to that uh, in the description. But I chose this transition, which is roll transition, where you can upload two images, starting frame and end frame. So the starting frame was the one that I showed you where she was dancing and the ending was uh, ending one was where she was uh, DJing. And then I just wrote in a prompt, a woman dancing in a nightclub in the next scene, she's a DJ who's grooving as she plays. It costed me 10 credits to generate it. And let me directly show you the result because otherwise in real time, it takes a lot of time for this to come. So if I just go over here to video, you will be able to see this was the video that you saw. So starting frame, and then if I play it with the roll transition, uh, 
I mean, and just imagine this is just one of the hundreds and hundreds of amazing video effects that they have on this platform. So that's one of the things that, that you can do. Another thing that you can do is, which I've shown uh, just two weeks back, was when Hicksfield Canvas came out. So Canvas is something where you can easily do a product placement. So for example, here I can upload the image of her holding that perfume bottle. And then let's say that I have this perfume bottle of my own that I want to replace here. Then just brush over this. And it's so easy. Upload my own product here. And then just hit generate. And since I've done this already, I just want to be slightly fast about it. In a few seconds, you're, not, you're gonna basically get results like this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. So let's just see the consistency of the product and already the image was absolutely fantastic. But the good things don't end here because recently Hicksfield also came out with Hicksfield Speak. So what if we have one of these really amazing realistic uh, images and we wanna make them or animate them or you know make them speak, then I can go over to create, you go over to speak, and for example, you can upload the photograph. This time I use the selfie one. Then you can, they have some speaking effects. So I can go over to change, and you can see there's a, if a speaking effect that you can use with selfies. So you can see it's really nice because they make it very easy. So I chose the selfie speaking effect because it goes well along with this. Then you can go right here where you can either upload an audio, like your own audio from Levin Lab, something like that, like a voiceover, or you can just create it like this. So you can write, type in a script, select a voice, and just hit generate. And within like five seconds, the voice just comes here. Good morning. Like this, so I'd already used uh, one of the scripts like this. You can also add some ambient sounds like this. So I'd added the sound of a park, and ultimately I had basically got this particular... Uh, yep, that's right. Believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to do this. And then you can just click on this and just type in a very simple prompt, a woman talking as she takes a selfie. And I had chosen the standard quality or the medium quality. And then you consume 35 credits, just generate it. And just imagine you get a result instantly like this. Yep, that's right. Believe it or not, this is not real. Let's see how to do this. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. So you can see so many things are now possible simply because of the addition of that character feature. I do plan to do a lot of different experiments with this new tool because it has the capacity to not only work with the other Hexfield tools like I've shown you, but just imagine the capabilities when, I, when we combine the power of some other external AI tools out there. So I plan to do these experiments very soon, so make sure you subscribe and in case this video helped you out, do give it a like and I will see you next time.